This short video will show you how to um, publish your website and to upload a PDF file and then how to protect pages on your website. So let's have a little look here. So I've got a just a test site that I'm using to show here. So to upload a file onto a YOLO website, you drag the basic file element onto the page. When that comes up, click on Upload New File. Look on your computer for where the file is that you've stored. I'm just going to use the Social Learner Resources PDF. But you need to navigate and find the one you want on your computer. Then click on Open. It's uploading the file. And once it does that, this little box will change. And there you go. You see that you've got a PDF icon and the name of the file, etc. Right now, it won't open as a PDF in edit mode, so you actually need to publish your website to be able to um, be able to open that. So you click on publish to the web, and yes, we want to save changes to the page before we publish. Okay, and we just want to get our normal free one, a yellow subdomain, so it's the bottom one here that's the free one if you don't want to pay for it. Just check if the name is available, my one is. So we go next step. Okay, and there's my um, website URL at the top of the screen. It says congratulations, your site's published. Just ignore everything else. If I click on that link, it will take me out to my published site, which is actually a different URL. So you can see the URL on the top which is your one now. Okay, and I don't know what page it's on, so let's have a look at my different pages. Ah, oh, there it is on the home page. I didn't scroll down far enough. Okay, so then now when we click on the link, it will open up the PDF. And just going to go back. Now I'm going to close out of that site and go back into the editing site. So I just close that window out so that I'm back in my editing screen. If you come up to the top of the page where it says site, if you click on that and go to the site manager, you can see down the bottom here site password protection. So I'm just going to click that on and you need to actually set a login and a password so if I just go, um, I just put my name in GP98 and I'll just put whatever password test I'll actually just be really unpasswordy like that right and then you just indicate which pages you want to select so um, in this case I'll just pick the contact us one but if you had a blog that's probably the one you would want to protect you could protect all or none whatever you like okay and again then when you um, republish the site and go out and look at it you'll find that you won't be able to get to specific pages that are blocked and I protected the contact us so you can see the home one and we can see the about us one not that there's anything on it and the contact us one asks you for a password, so people can't see that one. Alright, so I suggest um, anyone with a YOLA site, the best way to get the functionality out of it is to publish it, and then just protect it. If you don't want anyone to see it, protect all of the pages. But then you'll be able to see exactly what the website looks like when it's published, and it does make it easier for us to market as well. Okay, hope that helps.